Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're gonna be deb free today, which I do not like. I love when we are on together. Sorry, going into the sun. Okay, so it's, first of all, replay viewers, thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully, if you enjoy the show or if you're expecting great things from us, because I am today again, um, please share with your friends. Um, you know, the more we get into our fearless gray flamingo small shelter mornings group, the better off. Uh, so it's kind of a funny morning, like, okay, why, why isn't Deb here? And why do I look like this? Okay. So Deb messages you like, oh, my makeup's in my car. I am not going out. I'm like, oh, I hear you. I wouldn't, I'm not going out with makeup, out makeup either. Hi Deb. How are you? I might bring you on. Just kidding. I won't. And then, so I'm like, no worries. I'll go live. And I was like getting dressed a little late anyways. And I go in there and like, my hair is like full on grease ponytail. Because I uh, was washing my hair last night and I'm like, oh, I'm going to put a little conditioner in. And I put so much conditioner in. I'm like, oh, great. So I told Deb, I'll go live, no problem. So I can, get, I can put makeup on my pony and like, whatever. So here we are. Anyways, what I thought we would talk about today is stop being a minimalist. And that's probably not what we'll be here. Hi, Matt. How are you? Um, no makeup, no live. That is a very good very very good role you know as we get to be um you know fearless gray age i think it's really important that we take care of ourselves, and that includes um like our exterior appearance because i think it makes us feel better about ourselves. hi pam how are you um and um my friend matt his wife paula is um she did a really nice live this weekend about like she uh sells a line of makeup now and how it really changed how she felt about herself on the inside and how, hi Chong, how are you? And how she was able to go out into the world and do different things because of how she felt about herself. And so Deb saying no makeup, no live is actually like, I really think it's important, especially as we get older, that we fully take care of ourselves on the inside and out because if we wanna go out and do the greatest things in the world, like we have to feel good about ourselves. Okay, so anyways, where are you a minimalist and stop being a minimalist? You know, it's interesting in this world, a lot of times like, oh, be a minimalist, be a minimalist. And I think in things, that's a good idea. Like I know when I learned and I had like those four sheds, I had to unload, like, I wish I had acquired a lot less stuff. So as far as like acquiring things, be a minimalist. But in the rest of the areas in your life, don't be a minimalist. Give it all you have. I think like if you think about, I, I can think of so many areas I'm a minimalist. Like, what is the least I can do to eat healthy this morning? Or what is the least I can do to work out? Like, I remember thinking like, what is the most I can do today to make my body healthier? Or what is the most I can learn today to make myself more productive? How can I be the best friend to someone? You know, think like, what is the minimum I can do to help somebody feel better? What is the minimum I can do to learn how to do this? What is the minimum I can do at my job today to you know do a decent job? And what if we like really flip that and think, what is the most I can do? What is basically, what is the best version of myself? What is the most I can do in this situation? I think why it's difficult though, is because we uh, overdo our commitments. We overdo what we can or should be doing. You know, like uh, I have to get this, 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 this in. Well, if we have to get 10 things in today, how are we going to be able to be, hi Natasha, how are we going to be able to be, um, the opposite of a minimalist, so I'm a maximalist, I don't know. But how are we gonna give our best effort if we've overloaded our day with things and you know all the different things? I have to go to work and then I have to clean my house and then I have to call this friend and then I have to work out. Well, how are you gonna fit the time to do your best at any one of those things? And so I think if we start to get into a rhythm in our life of like what's really gonna make me the best version of ourselves, then we won't be a minimalist anymore. And again, it's not, it's, I agree on being a minimalist in things like less things makes life easier. And also having less things allows you to not be a minimalist in your other aspects. Like if I have to clean the house and vacuum and, you know, take care of all the things I have, I have a lot less time to be the best version of myself in my relationships and my health in what I'm learning. So spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, if I want to be the best version of myself, I can't be a minimalist. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Greasy ponytail, no makeup dev. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.